gasifiers for small engines running on dust-like fuel are almost unheard of. Only a few inventors attempted to use such gasifiers over the decades of the gasifier heyday. Let's look at one of such patents, where Comrade Epiktetov attempted to create such a gasifier in the middle of World War II, on March 31, 1942. Apparently, there was a lot of peat where he worked, and it was difficult to harvest and log wood. The drawing shows that the gasifier hopper is solid at the top while divided into a series of tubes, marked with the number 2, at the bottom. There is a grate marked with the number 15, at the bottom. Grate 15 is connected to coil 4. The coil is wound around burner 7. The gas output from the burners is marked with arrows. The air enters the gasifier through pipe 6. Fuel is loaded into hopper 1 and tubes 2. It is heated in tubes 2 from the outside, and the coking process takes place. The resulting coke falls into box 3 on the grate. The design of the device is unborrowed. One third of the gas is burned through burner 7. To make this gas burn, the air is supplied through hole 11. In fact, only gas burns in zone 8. There is no dust-like fuel here. The heat from this combustion allows coking of fines in tubes 2. The molten ash, heated to a temperature of 1300 degrees, which is the temperature of the coking gas, flows through grate 15 down to space 3. The resulting gas comes out under grate 15 into tube 4, and then through the coil into tube 5. According to the author's idea, the tar is cracked in the coil because of the high temperature. Then the gas goes to outlet 14. Two-thirds of the gas goes down into the gas burner. The gas combustion products exit zone 8 through pipe 10. Comrade Epiktetov wrote nothing except for this patent. If you feel grateful for the knowledge you have gained, my donation card is below the video. See you soon.